So Nigerians, you have to understand that our schools are no more schools that one can actually rely upon. If they are not striking, if they are not turning four years course to five years or six years, to be a lecturer who is after your neck, to be a lecturer who is saying you should buy a handout that he wrote 10 years ago. So guys, we are saying that there is so much joblessness in our country. And one of the things that you have to understand is not that there is joblessness per se. We can actually say there is joblessness, but if you look at the feed, there is there is a shortage of appropriate personnel to fill appropriate positions. That is how I will, that is how I will actually put it. There are listen, I've talked to people who have graduated from schools, studied one thing or the other, maybe even computer science. They don't know simple, this simple thing on how to build a website, like how to create uh, HTML using HTML and, and all that. So, if you are a Nigerian and you are seeing the way the country is going, uh, you, we're talking about school now. Then when you talk about grad, when you graduate and all that, jobs and all that. So, you want to leverage this thing called the internet. There is... There is no restriction on the internet on anybody. As far as you have a mobile phone, you can do anything. So even, even though you don't even have a laptop and you want to actually learn anything, there are many online services. Do you, do you know that you can code from your phone, direct from your phone? I'm telling you, the problem is we're not seeking, we're not searching. The, the only things we are doing is we are going on the internet and what is Bobrowski or um today and not posted on twitter we are following one celebrity we are following and all that we are so concerned about other people's life and that we're not concerned about our lives so even though you don't even have a a, a computer and you want to learn coding it is possible i read the story of a guy who is working at andela now he said why he was in secondary school he did not have a laptop he only had a small phone and what he what will what he will be doing with is like he will be going he will go on the on the website there's a website called um w3 school w3 schools he will go there and be learning how to build the website using the various technology like html and javascript and the other he will be learning okay he doesn't have a computer he will now go and write the code in the classroom on the shockboard build an entire website on the shockboard right how the code will work how you would have written the code in the laptop then he will look at it and say oh no this one will make a mistake here i mean and they correct until later you got his own laptop so if you have the passion you will not be sitting there and say i can a jump doesn't want to give me admission uh, uh i graduated from school i don't have work there are plenty of platforms especially if you are in lagos so I want to introduce to you Data Science Nigeria. They have different programs to which they train people. They even fly in people from other parts of the world to come and train people. And if you look at their board, like if you let's look at their 2019 uh, plan, you can see that 2019 plan. They have uh, AI Wednesdays, so it will be a weekly meetings that every Wednesday. You can just check up that plan. They'll be doing AI stuff, 3 to 5 p.m. You know, I remember in school, you know, there is, somebody actually said something that when a man, sorry, when a child does not listen to his father, when he sees, and he becomes a man, and now have a child, and when he sees that his child is not listening to him, he will, he will, he will, he will like be thinking, or said to the child, listen, the same way I did not listen to my father, that is why you're not listening to me, and I have regrets. When we were in secondary school, one of the regrets that I actually had was I was not really involved in many groups. Like, we have, um, is it LDDC, uh, literary, uh, literary uh, debating club, something like that. Uh, debate uh, development or something like that. The drum, okay, uh, literary uh, de uh, debate and dramatic club, something like that. We had the um, uh, Jet Club, Junior Engineering, and I've forgotten it's been longer. I left, I left school, and then uh, we have different groups. 
if you belong to groups, you will learn fast. So if you're in Nigeria and you want to learn things, and you're in Lagos or other part of the, you just search. You will meet people and you will be learning. We're in the internet revolution. So people are not, they do something like you, you want to go and study linguistic or you want to go and study uh, business admin or one of these marketing or one of these courses that like, people are studying. So you need to upgrade. So you go, to, you go to that schedule, you see what they are offering and listen, these people, they are not just um, people who are, who want to do whatever they want to do. There are people who are backing these people. They have mentorship program. Uh, they have um, the CEOs of um, what is that name? Uh, Diamond Bank. Different people coming. Just watch the videos. You will see a lot of amazing stuff that are actually happening with this product. So, data science Nigeria itself, and maybe you don't even know anything about programming. It's very simple. If you don't know anything about programming. It's simple. There are steps you need to know about. Data science, everybody is a beginner. Nobody was born and did not born computer on their head. No, they learned. So there are steps you come, you learn a, bit, a little, little of Python. There is no problem if you are not, if you are not um, able to, that's why Google is there. Listen, I, I've been like, even since, since money, I've been struggling with some of the uh, codes, but I, with persistence, you watch video on one thing that maybe if somebody has come and pointed to you and say, hey, this thing, this is how you do it. In two seconds, you would have gotten it. It took me like five minutes. But is it a problem? No, you are learning on your own. And because you are learning on your own, you are searching. You search one website, doesn't I open like, is it how many websites? It, it, let me know it's a great. I open more than five websites. I watch video. So it was one video that helped me. So if you have that persistence, you will learn. You will learn. So you go on Google, how do I become a data scientist? How do I, uh, uh, how do I become uh, a graphic designer? How do I design videos? Just Google anything you will. It is when you are not doing it. It is when you say, I have graduated from school. I don't have money. Okay, if you don't have money, the internet is free. I don't have money. It's free. The only thing, you know the problem of our world now is you have the discipline. The cost of education today is not money. It's discipline. You have the discipline to actually learn. That is the cost. So I'll end this video here.